What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Paper Mario The Origami King Part 16 to be exact. In the last episode, we actually made our way to this little sunshine, put the little sun thingy inside here and defeat the Pokey and unlocked our new partner for the Scorching Sand Paper Desert, which is this Archaeologist Toad. And in today's video, we're going to go be reading different tower like languages and all that stuff and unlocking the Fire of Elemental Temple. So if you guys are hyped, Make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. But we walk up and we've been seeing these shiny spots all over the place on the scorching sandpaper desert. And if you bring your new little partner, Archaeologist Toad over here, he can actually shovel them up when you press down on the D-pad around him. So you just go up, click it, and he says, hop, and he digs up all this good treasure. So whenever you see those spots, dig them up, you'll get some gold. Considering we are low on gold, I would absolutely love getting all this gold. So I'm going to actually grab all this goodies. I'm going to go over here because I did see one over here a little bit ago. So we can go grab this. But yeah, now that we have Toad, he can actually read the language of all the... Uh, I don't even know what it's called. The language that we cannot read. He can read it and we can like see what's going on. So I can actually head over to these little temples over here and find out what they say and see what we have to do in order to find the pieces in order to unlock the yellow streamer stuff. But let's get steering over here. Leave the ancient text to me. There we go. That's what we, we should be calling it. The ancient text. There we go. But yo, Bobby... Rip, rest in peace. We got ourselves a new partner over here, Archaeologist Toad. I don't even know his name. Does he have a name? I'm just calling him Archaeologist Toad. But now we can actually... Oh, no, I parked my boot right in front of here. So I can't do anything, but we can get out from here. We can hop out. We can go up inside here. And there is a Toad Finder that is going off. There is a wonderful little Toad Finder. But now that we can make our way up here, and I didn't have enough confetti last time to actually do this. I can confetti this up, and we can actually read this little shrine right here and see what it says. And it says, to find my eye would be a feat, unless you look around my feet. Okay, so we're looking for this little eye over here that is in this little toad thing. And it says it's beneath its feet. So I guess the temple's feet in the beginning because I remember you can check and actually throw some things in there. So let's go check below and in this little guy's feet. So I guess maybe we can dig. Is there any shiny things? Can we dig without shiny? Can we dig without shinies? Let's see. I guess his feet are right here. Okay, so we can dig without shinies. No problem. Let's dig right here. Beneath his feet. Okay, so we got some coins. Is it over here? I feel like it's like a tile thing. Right here? Come on, dig right here, Toad. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, we found it. Whoa, you dug up some kind of strange rock. What is it? Yo, this is like a gem. It is the eye over here that we were looking for. So I guess each uh, temple or whatever it's called will actually have like a little puzzle to solve. And then you got to find the jewel that goes inside the, the eye or whatever it fits into and unlock something. Let's go see what it actually does. Now that we have it, we can actually check it out, place it in there, and get rolling from there. But yeah, I'm hyped to actually unlock the Fire Bell Mental Temple because... I love first and developmental balls. I don't even know why. Or just blue in the temples. They're just so much fun. But we can now place this jewel in here. Oh, it fits perfectly. How cute. What does it do, though? Give me money. Give me money. I would love money. Oh, the stone you put in there. It's sparkling so brightly. What's happening other than that pretty little light show? Light show? What's going on? What do you mean, light show? I guess from Shroom City or Sniffit Town? Well, we place this thing in there. Oh, and it's turning. It's doing something. It's doing something cool. Bro, right, this looks sick. This looks sick. This is why, so far, this is my favorite place so far. It's like open world -ish. Everything else was just like a standard path. You go up this way, you do this, you do this. and But this over here with the yellow streamer, it's just all open world. You kind of have to figure out everything on your own and do it by yourself, which is awesome. But a light beam shoots down, hits the yellow streamer while where the yellow streamer actually goes, it goes underground. And I guess we got to do it with all of them in order to actually unlock it. But beautiful. So there's one down. I think there's three in total. I only know where the second one is. I do not know where the third one is. Do not know where the third tower is. There might be four, actually. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. But look at that. Shine over there. Let's go head over to the next tower and see what we can do over on that side. Let's get it. Maybe you just want to look at something different. Nah, yo, we're good. We're getting grouped. Let's go. To the next one. Uh, I actually want to get out here. There is a toad right over there. But now that I have confetti, I can actually use some. So I'll whip it up. Let's get it. Is that it? Nope. Gotta use my third one. Come here. Give me my coins. I am low on coins because when I buy in the last episode, I bought two new uh, accessories, which cost me, or three actually, and it cost me like 16,000 gold. I was like, bruh, I'm broke. So in today's video, we got uh, to be on the lookout for some gold. Get some good old gold and ring it up. But when we go to the Fire Bell Method Temple, we should be chilling. We should be able to get a decent amount of gold just by doing that. But the other tower is over here in the west. Is it the west? Scorching Sandpaper Desert? Something like that. Yep, it's Scorching Sandpaper West. Okay. It's pretty simple. Let's get rolling here. Actually, there's a little thing right here. I just do want to hop out and dig up. And there is that little cactus right there. And I believe that's a toad right there. Oh, baby. Yo, was that a gold hammer? A gold hammer? Use this to knock coins out of your enemy's pockets, yo. Dude. That's tough. That is tough. And, yo, Pokey, leave me alone. I'm trying to get this toad. I'm trying to get this green toad. Leave me alone, Pokey. 
Chill on me. Chill on me, Pokey. And we get... Oh, that was all the toads. I think we, there was only one toad near. <laughs> I think it was only one toad near. Let's get Grooving over towards this tower. I want to dig up the spots. Because the dig up spots give you a good bit of stuff. Let's see what this one has. Oh, nice amount of gold. Oh, yo, you, you give me so much gold, y'all. I love these dig up spots. Give them to me, baby. Show me a good bit. Evo. Yes, sir. Was that over 300 gold? Mwah, yo, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I can actually just take Heel Toe Express and walk myself over this way to the next tower and see what's going on there. I got to read the agent text. I know that for a fact. And in order to find, I guess, the jewel for this place. Let's get it. Let's get it. But, yo, guys, streams starting next week. Next week, we're doing some fall, guys. Hope you guys are hyped. Hit that follow button down in the description below. Turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. But we leave, We read this shrine right here. It says, Beneath the Feet of Twins Entwined in Needles. There the eye you'll find. Twins entwined in needles. Cactuses? Ne yeah. I'm trying to think. Needles or cactus? There are cactuses over here. Twin cactuses? Beneath the feet of twin cactuses. Hopefully I'm right. Hopefully I'm right. There's twin needles entwined. So in between them. In between the cactuses that look the same? At their feet? Like, yeah, there are cactuses just floating around here. So, twin cactuses. There's a cactus right here. Are those the twin cactuses? These gotta be the twin cactuses. Look at these. These are look exactly like. Big right here. Come here. Ah. The pokies. Leave me alone. I swear, pokies. Heepo. Nothing, dude. Bro, are you kidding me? Bro, right here. Bro, this game stinks. This game stinks. Where's this at? Hold up. I'm gonna go over here. These pokies are kind of annoying me. Oh, confetti bag. I don't mind if I do. I'm actually going confetti up this wall. It should take two, right? Yeah, you get it, baby. Get it. Give me them coins. I don't mind if I do. We call your vehicle? Nah, yo, we chill. We gotta get our cardio in for today. I'm telling you. Let me check here one more time. Go right here. Get it. Oh, it was right in between it. Okay, cool. There we go. Got the triangle jewel. The triangle jewel. Oh yeah. Between two cacti. So these were the twin cacti that we had to go towards. You can actually smack up this. Like, oh my god, yo, you get so much confetti from that. That is what's up. That is what's goody. But now we can head over back to the side and put the jewel right inside of it. Just be chill and say, yo, here's your jewel. And hopefully we'll do another light theme show where it just shoots out the lights. And it's grooving with that. Come here. Come here. But we do need a fire elemental to come back here. I have to place this in here. Let's check it. Let's place triangle jewel right there. And did that do nothing? Let's check it. I wonder how it would shine. Light hit it. Okay, so I guess we can't do anything until we get the fire elemental. Power. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We got the jewel. We're chilling there. We are chilling there. But archaeologist told before, well, in the last episode when he ended, he wanted to go back to the town. He wanted to go back to uh, Shroom City or Snippet Town, whatever you want to call it. And I gotta call my uh, what's called what's confetti. Oh no, here's my boot car. Here's my boot car. Thank God they gave us this. Thank God we're not just like running around in circles here, like in uh in this place. That would be annoying if we didn't have the boot car. But in the last episode, archaeologist told was like, "Yo, jeans, bring me over here." I want to go to the town and see what's going on over there, see if I can find out anything. Let me hop out here because I really do like these dig spots. Come here, dig spot. Dig it. Dig it, Toad. Yo. There you go. Yo. Yes, sir. Yo, we rip up the coins, baby. We get mad coins. Let's keep grooving. Let's keep grooving. Town is this way. There is another Toad. Let me hop out and grab it. Yo, these little fake cactus right here. Come here. Bonk. Give me a nice little bonk with the hammer. And we chilling. Hello. By unfolding me, you've subscribed to a service that I like to call Ask a Cactus. Did you know that you can leave a boot car anywhere and it will come back? Yeah, I know that. You know what? You just said something so dumb to me that I already knew. You don't deserve to be read. Or your text doesn't deserve to be read the rest of the way. But got all the toads in that little section. And we made our way back to the Sniffin' Town. Which I love, dude. I love this little section over here. It's so cool. It's just lit up everywhere. And we chilling. Looking good, yo, Sniffin' Town. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Hey. Hey, I gotta park my boot car. I totally forgot. Let's go right here. Park it right here. And hop out here. Let's get it. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, dun, dun. Can I get up on this thing? Look at this seesaw, dude. Come here, Toad. Come here, Toad. Can I smack up on these things? Nah, we're chilling. Alright, let's get going. He wants to go back to the hotel little area. Dun, 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 dun. Hey. 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 Keep hitting up on these. I should save right now, to be honest with you guys. There's a Toad up there. How do I even get up there? I kind of want to figure it out. Can I go through the back way? Oh, there! Oh, okay. Look at me go. Look at this. Look at your boy figuring things out. Look at your boy figuring things out. We can go through the back way right here. I can actually hit up on this toad right here. 
and then I can hop down over on this other side. Jump on this dude's seesaw. Let's get it. Yo. Let's hop on this dude's seesaw. Yo. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, yo, I didn't even know this. I didn't even know this. And we get some cool items. You see all the items that fell down? Look at that. And a toad right there. We got a flashy hammer, a ice flower, a mushroom, and a fire flower. That's tough. That is tough. Hey, hey. He said, well, at least I have my luxury mansions in Toad Town awaiting me to those. Oh, do stop by sometimes. I'll reward you handsomely. Oh, okay. So maybe we'll do that in a little bit. Head back to Toad's Town and go see what he has. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. He, he says he owns the mansion in Toad's Town, which is like that. I think it's a giant house with a chest in it. Um, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. But I did not explore all this, uh, this whole place yet. I know there's one other section, which is straight to the left over here. And I still have to explore and see what's going on. But I know Professor Toad does want to go inside the hotel, which we will do in just a second. We come over here. Oh, yo, there's like a Luigi logo on that lamp up there. Let me talk. Let me, let me do a quick talk. Hey, word to the wise. I don't trust the snippet who's setting up that tent with the lamp on top. What you mean? Come here. Let's read this. Under construction. Okay, so how do we, uh... Can we do anything with it? Let's go back up here. Guess we can't do anything right now. We'll, we'll just go to the hotel for now. Yes. We have to go inside and, uh... See what the toad's all about. See what Mr. Toad is all about, or what he wants to do. You can actually walk down here, there's no water, and they're jamming. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> yeah, dude, there's snippets. You walk in there once, DJing. They're just hitting it hard. But let's go this way. Because Toad can actually read this stuff over here. Ah, oh, there's more ancient writing on this mural. Let's see. Now Toad can read all this goodies. Let's get it. When all four toads align their eyes, a shroomy temple shall arise. Okay, so that's probably how you get the. the the yellow streamer, we gotta get all the temples over. Guess there's four in total. We gotta get all the eyes to shine onto the thing. And then we should be some beautiful temples to pop up. And we chill them. I've added the translation to my notes. You can press L to read it anytime. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Toad. Archaeologist Toad, my fault. And what's this one say? Above the desert mushroom rise, go spark a flame with their eyes. I don't really get that one. And this coming out of my eyes doesn't look like a blah, blah, blah. Something weird. It's all good. We chill them. And here's the fire bell mental, right? That's gotta be a fire bell mental. Find six about and gather all the fire spirits they will call. They got some crazy stuff going on here. That's for the fire elemental. And what does this one say? This one says, to meet the elemental, same the ritual is like a game. The six about will come back this clean. If we need to perform some kind of ritual, why is it spelled out here? Let's see. What does this arrow mean anyway? Like go over this way? So I guess we got to go inside this room. Oh, yes, sir get inside this door and what's this guy say ah uh, pardon me i'm afraid that room is occupied if you're looking for the occupant he's fellow in a green clothing with a mustache not unlike yours oh and he said he was going to visit some local merchant stalls so he's talking about luigi i just saw the luigi logo the green guy could that be the same green guy we know it's gotta be so luigi owns this room i'm not allowed to in here but i guess should we go back to the lamp like what is up with the l logo there that's gotta be something for luigi I'm gonna go head back down there, see, we, see if I miss anything. Maybe I can get up on a lamp and hit it or something and pop out Luigi. Just something along those lines. Let's go see what's going on. Hey, hey, these boys know how to party. I like how uh, paper enemies in old games, they were your enemies. Now all the regular paper guys are all cool with you. It's only the origami enemies. We come over here and, yo, dude, that guy's chilling there. He's, he's, he's here. What's good? He was just not here. Step right up. Step right up. You can win. A thousand coins and it only costs a hundred coins to enter. Wanna play? Uh, sure. Very good. The rules are simple. You must simply guess my snippety mood. Okay. You have three tries. Are you ready? It's as easy as reading my face. So what do I do? Read his face and see what mood he's in? Bro, this game's such a joke. This game is such a joke. Like, we can't see his face. He has a mask on. I'll go for a uh, spiteful sniff with the first one, I guess. Are you sure about your answer? Yes, sir. That is my answer. <laughs> Look at us staring him down. We're like, yo, what's good? Like, what's your face? Come on, baby, let me get it. My full sniff. Ah, wrong. Yo, that's wax sauce. I get another try. Let's try again. The number of chances you have left is two. All right, let's get it. -na -na -na. Let's go with the uh, snickering sniff. You're definitely a snicketer, snickering sniff right now. Come on, baby, show me the money. Stare him down. <laughs> Come on, give me correct. Ring the bell. Oh my god. Alright. Bruh. 
We got one more try, so it's either sad sniff or what's the other one? Or strange sniff. I'm gonna go with strange. He doesn't look sad. I'm sure about your answer. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure about this one, guys. Let's get it. Hit it on the nose. There's no way he's a sad sniff. Come on. What you mean? God, man. Nope. So sorry. I'm afraid I did forget to mention one thing at the start. The game only costs 100 coins to begin, but losing it costs your freedom. What you mean? Please kindly make your way to the freedom containment chamber without any fuss. As a con as a consolation, you will share the space with any previous contestants all eternity. There's one other option. You can try again, but this time. Um. I guess we'll play. I guess we'll play. Ah, oh, wise decision. <laughs> what? Did he just scheme me? Well, at least you get three tries. Wait, what is he? Let's go sad sniff this time. You gotta be a sad sniff. Are you sure about your answer? Yes! He's probably switching up on me. This dude's, this dude's good. Or he's playing games with me. Come on. Give it to me. Wrong. Yo. Oh. What you mean? <laughs> like two more chances left. Alright, yo. Alright. This guy's definitely, he's definitely spiteful right now. He's definitely spiteful. Should I click sad again? Give me the correct one. Come on! Give it. If it's a gene. What? Bro. Alright. He's either strange or snickering. Hmm. I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. It's gonna be strange. It's gonna be strange here. Are you sure about your answer? I'm confident. I'm confident. Set my answer in there and give me the prize. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Ma! <laughs> Not even close. Okay. So, where are we going? What is this? What is this? How do I get out? This is how Luigi got in here. How do I get out of here? Game over? What the f What is this? What wait, what? What is this? How do I get a game over? What do you mean, though? What do you mean? Now I come back here to Stream City? I got a game over for that? That is the wackiest thing i ever seen. You thought he just set me up there and he just murdered me. <laughs> you know what? You're a sad sniff. We start all over. This has to be a sad sniff, right? Like, what, like, what is this? I didn't even think I was going to die. I thought it was going to just send me somewhere and I was going to have to escape it and come back out. But it just murdered me, put me in a lamp, and killed me. <laughs> I'm wrong again, dude. How am I supposed to get this? This has to be a game. This has to be a game where I'm always wrong and there's got to be like a secret way of getting out of this. Come on, spiteful sniff. Are you sure about your answer? Yes, I am sure. We are getting this. I'll pay another thousand coins after this to try again. What you want, fool? What you want? Correct. What the? Bruh. Am I doing something wrong? Seriously, I got to be doing something wrong. I got to be. I just, just got to be doing something wrong. Go for the snickering sniff. Get it. Yeah, I'm sure about it. Watch, it's gonna be strange this time. We get three, like, this game's gotta be, like, doing me dirty. Come on. What do you mean? What do you mean, though? I am so confused. Yes, I will cost another thousand. That's totally fine. I already know what happened. If I get another game over, I'm freaking out. This playthrough is done. I'm over with it. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go same three. I'm not gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go same three here. I'm gonna go same three. We're gonna start with sad sniff. What we got? Come on, ding, ding, ding me, <laughs> bruh. Nope, too bad. Wow, you have two chances left. Do I guess sad again? I'm going spiteful. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick with my gut. I swear, yo. I swear. Out my face. Leave me alone. Come on. Bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Let's see this. Last chance. Last chance is right here, right now. See what we got. Playthrough. This playthrough is determined on this one. If I get this wrong, we're done. We're done with this playthrough for the rest of uh forever. We're done with it. <laughs> Come on, snickering sniff. Gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Come on. 
Yes! How'd you do that? We got it! No one wins this game. I mean, congratulations. Look over there. Yo, what's he doing? Yo, he's out of here. We won the... Where's our coins at? Wait, where are the 10,000 coins? I'm starting to feel like this is a scam, Mario. At least we got a quick throw of it. My heart is racing. And we got this, uh, thousand folded arms thing. We can rub this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rub it. Rub the lamp. Rub the lamp. Is Luigi gonna come out? I'm rubbing it, man. There we go. Rub it a good bit. And bang, Luigi's gonna come out of here. Yes, sir. Yo, dude, that took me so long. I really got a game over, and I'm still mad about it. Luigi pops out the lamp, and we save him. Mario, you saved me. That mean you actually won the game? How'd you do it? I, I failed a couple times, and I kept guessing and guessing and guessing until I got it. So that's what happened. And boom, yo, it gives us a sweet key to that, uh, that room all the way up on the top floor that Toad wants to get into. Or Archaeologist Toad. But beautiful. Thank you, Luigi. You're the man. You rock out. I love you forever. But thanks for the key. Now get out my hair so I can go do my job. So I wonder what's up there. I wonder what's up there. Because we are grooving. We are grooving. A slippery brother of yours, he came out of the genie lab, so do you think he can grant us a few wishes? Yeah, yo, can we just, like, wish that all the streamers are dead and be done? He's like, hey, we did it! <laughs> but now that we have the key, we can get grooving along. We can get grooving along. But if you guys, um, oh my god, if you guys haven't seen what's going on with Nintendo, like, supposedly there are listings in, like, the UK and all that of Skyward Sword remake, like, all the new Mario HD remakes, so supposedly... This uh, holiday or the next big direct we're going to get is going to be insane. It's going to be crazy. We're going to get a bunch of new announcements and a bunch of big games coming our way. So that is hype. I'm going to be doing a playthrough on all the big Nintendo games. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel. But we come over here. We have a sweet key now. I can't believe I have to put this in. Yeah, I have like four different keys right now. This one unlocks this door. Beautiful. Picture. And we come in here. And what's it say? It says, I'm glad they didn't wallpaper over the rest of the mural. That's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. What does it say? Uh, it appears to depict some kind of ancient ritual. The body movements are quite distinct indeed. It is also oddly specific about who must perform the ritual in a special indication. Yes, the text suggests that it must be performed by somebody with a melodic voice and mega pipes. Don't shoot the translator, but that sounds like it could be you, Olivia. Oh, yeah. Olivia's gonna be singing. What? Me? No way. A medical voice? Mega pipes? Me? I mean, I suppose my pipes are kind of mega and I can carry a tune. Oh, I don't know about this, but a helpful unwind streamer is saying, you gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta do it. Let the lesson begin. So what, we gotta teach her a song or something? Oh, wait. Isn't there, what's it called? A singing station? Back in front of the, that fire thing? In front of the sun shrine. So maybe we teach her the song here, and now she knows the song, and we can go back. Let's get it. Oh, she's exhausted. Huff, huff. How'd I do? Ooh, I knew my minor in ancient dance would pay off one day. Let's get it. You did splendidly, Olivia. I believe you're ready to perform the full ritual. Give it all you got. All right, I'll do my best. But I guess I gotta go. Let me talk to Olivia real quick. What's she gonna say? Well, if we need to perform a ritual, didn't we find a place? Yes, in the scorched sandpaper desert. That's exactly what I was talking about. Let's see what's over here in this room. Oh, we got a block right here. And we have uh, a chest right here. Can we get an amiibo? Give me an amiibo. Yes, sir. We got the desert tower amiibo over here. A little collectible. Beautiful. Get this little block right here. Nothing. I hit him one over here. Get double up. Oh, dude, I'm too smart. I'm too smart. Let's bounce. Let's bounce. Anything over here? Anything over here? Can we hit this? This wall is looking a little funky right here. I can check it. I oh, know that's just a mural. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's get the bounce pokey and skid it on. Because we kind of did everything I wanted to do so far. I'm just trying to unlock the fire of elemental temple in today's video. And I believe once we go back there and sing it, the, the temple will pop up. That's what the ancient ritual thing is saying. So, we hit the save block because we did do a lot so far. We can hit the save block. Oh, I want to go back to Toad's Town. I do want to go back to Toad's Town. I almost forgot. So, let's do that before we actually uh, sing the uh, ancient little song. We're going to go back to Toad's Town. And we're going to go... What's the quickest way to Toad's Town? And we got to go uh, to that mansion and go collect a reward. I wonder what it is. I really do wonder what it is. Hopefully, it's like uh, a collectible. Hopefully, we get an amiibo or something along with it. But the quickest way to Toad's Town would be go through this sandpaper desert all the way back to the warp pipe. And then just warp pipe back. I think that's it. Yeah, that's got to be the quickest way. But other than that, we would have to go to, uh, all the way back out of Sandpaper Desert to Shogun Studios. Or back through the mines, all that good stuff. Back to Shogun Studios, all the way back to Autumn Mountain, down, uh, Picnic Road, all the way back to the beginning. So, thank God for warp pipes. Imagine if there wasn't warp pipes. Let me check out the map real quick. Let's see how the map's doing. 
growing, man. Oh my lord. Look at all this stuff we have. We actually explored a lot in this game. This is nuts. This is nuts how much stuff we actually explored. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Let me call my boot car. I left it at the other spot. Let's go to items. No, it should be in useful items. Yeah. Where's my boot whistle? What do I call my boot whistle? Is there like a button I can press? No, that's a little bit. There is something I can press. Big key. Where is my thing? Items. There it is. Just in regular items. Okay, cool. Boot whistle coming out here. Now we can get moving. Hey, hey, I need some more gold for real. I'm really low on the gold. Ever since the last episode where I spent the poop ton of it, and I just spent, what was it, a thousand over there? Or a thousand one hundred? It wasn't good at all. That was a good amount. So there we go. Get out here. We're making our way back to the regular sandpaper desert. And where's that warp pipe at? I totally forget where it's at. I think it's uh, over here to the right. Am I correct? Or no, no. It should be up here a little bit. I mean, let's check over here to the right first. Why do we even make any big decision? Yeah, it's over here to the right. Okay, cool. Or to the left. Whatever I want. Whatever I want to call it. We're going to go back in here. No, not in the cart. Yo, get out of my face, boy. Hop in from the side. And we'll enter this warp pipe. Yeah. Toad, you can stay here. Or why don't I wait for you here? Yeah, yo, you stay there. You don't. You can't come back into Toad Sandwich. You're my little sandpaper desert partner. I don't need you here. But yo, third world. We're about halfway done this game. Getting grooving. We are grooving with this game. Doing good. I love it so much, yo. I cannot wait to see all the other worlds, because I really do not know what the other worlds are. I really do not know them. But we grooving out here. Yeah, look at my boy Toad. We make our way back here, and the mansion, it should be the straight behind, right? In Toad's Town? I believe it's, like, up against the, the water. Let's see. It should be behind this thing. Oh, yo, it feels good to be back in Toad's Town. Yeah, we haven't been back here in a while. I think it's this place right here. This is, should be the mansion. This is the biggest house here. Yo, it feels so good to be back in Toad Sound, jamming to the old music, looking at all the colorful the little mountains, all that good stuff. And I think upstairs. Like, this this is the mansion, right? It was a yellow toad. Let's go upstairs. Let's see. Oh, there's my boy. There he is. What's goody? Let's talk to him. Uh, Mario, thanks again for helping me with that nasty business back in Shroom City. I owe you one. Please feel free to pick up these at your leisure. Oh, my lord. As an additional sign of gratitude, I have locked all the doors in my fabulous mates. Oh, my lord. How much gold did he just give us? He just give us 10,000 gold? My dude. My dude. Giving us 10 G's, baby. 10 G's, yo. I'm in love. That's exactly what we needed. We needed gold. We were so low on it. And this boy comes in clutch. Gives us all that good gold. And now we're chilling. But we can make our way back to sandpaper. Scorching sandpaper desert. And uh, perform that ritual before we do end off today's video. Yo, that was clutch. That was clutch. Exactly what I needed. What's that? That wonderful amount of gold. That was a good amount, too. I thought, like, we were getting maybe a collectible or something. But, nah, yo. He gave us 10,000 gold. Like, you know how long it takes me to get 10,000 gold? It takes me a heaping amount of time. And it's ridiculous. Back to Scorching Sand Paper Desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I hope... When Olivia plays her song, it's a jam. It better be a jam. We don't have playing around. Hello. Oh, you're back. Shall we? We shall. Let's go. Over to the uh, little singing station. It should be over this way, right? Be up here. Yeah, right here. We'll hop out of my boot car right here. Get out here. Let's go sing. Let's get grooving. Let's check it out. Olivia pops out. All right, I'm warming up. Any requests? Uh, give me My Heart's a Burning. Give me My Heart's a Burning. This song right here. Oh! Yo! Look at the little tiki's jamming in the back. Hey, 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 let's get it, yo, let's get it, yo, we jam it out, yeah, 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 yo, dude, they're always playing jams, I remember back in, what was it, episode one or two, when we played the song, in, uh, or the tree sang the song in the Whispering Woods, bro, that was a jam, this is a jam too, the best of the tiki's, yo, the light on fire, like, hey, 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 yo, dude, fire, Olivia, let's get it, let's get it, we play the song, confetti pops out, we jamming, we feeling good, encore, encore, and there we go, there we go, exactly what we want. Is this the Fire of Elemental Temple? Is this it? Arms are opening up? What is that? Oh, it's gotta be the temple. This, that's gotta be the temple, baby. That's gotta be it, right? Does this mean the ceremony work? The scholarly implications are staggering. Imagine the an antiquities that lie sleeping waiting in this awakened by the right performance. 
I'll certainly need voice lessons and perhaps a choreographer. A choreographer, bleh. Can't speak right now. Another time. Let us go inside and prepare to meet a god. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Was I really singing loudly enough to wake the ancient temple? Yes, you were. Let's get up inside of it. Let's get up inside of it. Let's get it, yo. It saves automatically, which is just wonderful. Just dandy. And, yo, this place is jamming. This place is jamming. That is awesome. Ah, ah. So that's why the bird's mouth was glowing from the inside. Everything is on fire in here. Wait. Or paper, yo. You know what I just realized? Doing that song and dance that the mural taught us. Kind of like knocking on the fire elemental's front door. And that means this is the fire elemental. Yeah, yo. See, I told you. I told you this was fire elemental. You don't seem surprised. Did you already know that or something? Oh, yeah. I kind of figured that out already. <laughs> nice one, Olivia. They're doing terrible. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Fire of Elemental Temple. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.